Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As usual, it's so good to have you here with me for another video. In today's video, I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you what turned out to be a super curl-defining wash and go routine featuring products by the brand Mizani. The two products that I have here are the Mizani 25 Miracle leave-in conditioner. I feel like this is multi-use, this conditioner. At least that's how I'm going to be using it today. I'll be using it as a leave-in. This leave-in conditioner has coconut oil. It also can be used as a UV filter and a heat protectant if you want to add heat. I won't be adding heat here today. The second product that I'm going to be reviewing is the Mizani True Textures Perfect Coil Oil gel. Both of these products were gifted to me by the brand. I recently had a Mizani air cut here in New York, so they gave these to us afterwards so that we could try out the product. So I wanted to put these products up to the test right away. The way that I rate products here on my channel is based on three things. The product scent, the product texture, and the final results. Lately, I've kind of been into a more voluminous look. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that that's been my thing lately. I recently created a page dedicated solely to my curly hair content. If you're already enjoying the content here on my YouTube channel, I definitely recommend that you go ahead and follow me on my social media platforms, especially the curly hair blog. I'm sharing much more shorter form content over there. So go over and give me a follow. I look forward to seeing you over there. Otherwise, guys, I don't want to waste too much more of your time. I'm so excited to show you how these unexpected results came about so if you guys are interested in seeing this curly hair routine featuring products by the brand Mazzani keep watching this video all right guys so I already went ahead and divided my hair into some smaller sections this is always how I work with my hair during a wash and go I'm just re-wetting my strands a little bit that is also important I like to work on soaking wet hair so that the product is properly absorbed by my hair. I'm starting out with the 25 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. Not using a lot. I'm going really, really light. Oh, you guys. This smells really, really nice. It's very perfumey. It kind of reminds me of like a luxury perfume. It reminds me of like I don't know, my mom loves Estee Lauder perfumes and for some reason the scent of this product reminds me of a luxury Estee Lauder perfume. So. Scent is good so far, the texture is also good, it's not like a really thick uh, slip in this leave-in but it's not like a super super thick leave-in so I think that's going to give me those light airy sort of results that I'm looking for. Next I'm going in with that perfect coil oil gel. This gel has more of a fruity scent to it. I really like for hair products. And I'm just raking in that gel. I'll tell you guys right away that these products don't feel super, super slippery. Although it feels as though it is moisturizing, I just don't feel like the products are super heavy, if that makes sense. So. This is not going to be a really heavy duty wash and go, which is actually perfect for me because that's exactly what I'm going for. I'll be honest with you guys, I definitely think that I like the Miracle Cream more than I like the gel. The gel isn't really giving me any sort of like a wow feeling. Yeah, I mean it's cool. It's cool but I've definitely tried better gels recently. Ugh. New York City, y'all. <laughs> I'm just gonna repeat this process on the rest of my hair. If I have anything wildly different from what I've already shared with you guys about these products, I will stop and share those thoughts with you. But as of right now, the leave-in is the star. 
of the show. <laughs> I really, really, really like this leave-in. Probably a lot more than I like the gel. I hate to say it, but it just, I don't know. I'm just really not wowed by this gel quite yet, but who knows? Maybe the results are going to be out of this world, so I don't want to share too many premature thoughts. <laughs> really liking my curls that I'm getting from these products that I will see. It's going to be interesting to see how they are going to dry down. My parts are a little crazy. I'm sorry guys. I'm just honestly trying to rush through this because I'm not putting a whole lot of emphasis on like a perfect washing all of this routine. This is just so that I can share my thoughts with you guys about the product. That small container of gel actually has a lot of product in it. I'm actually quite shocked. I know it looks like I'm applying a lot of product. I think I'm just so accustomed to applying lots of product that even when I say I'm not going to, I still end up... Oh, is that... Is that clumping that I'm seeing here? Oh boy, I sure hope not. We don't like that! I'm going to very reluctantly continue to style my hair with these products. It's like the curls are really pretty, but... The clumps are not. I'm willing to give the product a little bit of grace and consider the fact that maybe I went a little too heavy on the product application, but I don't think I did. <laughs> Hop in the comments and let me know, you guys, if you think I put way too much product in my hair. I don't think I did, but all right, y'all, coming down to the home stretch here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the final results and ultimately I'm gonna let you guys know if the clumping went away. I'm gonna grab my microfiber towel and just sort of like squeeze from the bottom and try to get some of that excess product out. So I'm gonna air dry and I'll see you guys in a minute. Woo! Friends, let me just say, let me just say, <laughs> I wasn't trying to get so much definition. That was actually not the aim with this wash and go. I was going for volume and fluff, but boy, am I pleasantly surprised. I am so happy with my results. I didn't even really pick my hair out all that much i probably could pick my hair out more and separate my curls more but this came out so bomb that i'm gonna need it to last for a healthy week and a half like i don't want to touch this it's just so perfect <laughs> so the flakes went away when my hair dried down so that was good as my hair was progressively drying throughout the drying process as i was checking in on how the products were melding together, that seemed to no longer be an issue. So let's talk about the top three things that we're gonna be rating these products on. First and foremost, product scent. These products smell wonderful. Like I mentioned, they have a very luxurious perfumed scent. I compared it to 
Estee Lauder fragrances. I have nothing negative to say about the scent. The scent gets a 10 out of 10 for me. So moving on to the texture. I really, really liked the texture of both of these products. I would say that the leave-in was very, very, very moisturizing. I'm almost curious as to how this product would work by itself as a styler because I almost feel like if I would have used just the leave-in conditioner, it would have given me those light, airy, voluminous results that I was kind of going for in the beginning. So definitely a 10 out of 10 for the 25 Miracle Cream. No qualms about Perfect. that. Coil Oil Gel was a little bit more confusing and deceiving. I had to really get a feel for the texture literally, but I it was hard for me to gauge what my results were going to be like from this gel, but boy, boy was I impressed. I would definitely label this gel a stronghold gel. It actually reminds me a lot of Eco, and the texture is a little bit more like a flaxseed texture in that it's not super thick, and it's a little bit more of a liquidy sort of a texture, but it gives the kind of results, the stronghold results that I would get like from an eco styler. Not Just to make comparisons because I don't know, like this product might be in my top five gels now. I have another small sized sample size like this, but there's still half of this product left, so probably dish out some coins to get the full size once I run out because I can already tell that this product is the kind of product where a little goes a long way which is always economical for us girls that aren't trying to you know spend tons of money on products and you just want to have one go-to product that is going to do the job every single time. Yeah, um, texture a little confusing, a little bit of a surprise, but a pleasant surprise. So I guess 9 out of 10. Moving on to the final results, you guys already know what it is. Like, I am obsessed with my results from these products. I would like to know what you think. Have you guys tried any Mizani products? I want to specifically know if any of you guys have tried this Perfect Coil Oil Gel. Y'all, it's... This is gonna be one of my new favorites and you can expect to see that product in my top curly hair products video that I will be sharing with you guys closer to the end of the year. So yeah guys, we have reached the end of this video. Really, really appreciate you if you made it this far. I would love to hear your thoughts on this wash and go, on Mazzani products and just in general. Oh, by the way, I got a new cut, a new curly haircut for any of you guys that maybe noticed it or not. I don't know, but if you noticed it, let me know what you think of my new cut down in the comments too. I would love to know your thoughts. I lost kind of a lot of length, so I need to get used to it, but for the most part, I'm here for it. And I'm really excited to see you guys in my next video. So make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are turned on so that we're not missing each other in passing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.